It's a beautiful Saturday here in Ishpeming, Michigan, just outside of Marquette. And what are we doing? We're going to an Italian fest, but I'm gluten and dairy free. I'm not eating anything. But no, I... but I'm on a mission to find something. Yes, and I'm on a mission to watch him eat it. And then he'll describe it to me, what it tastes like. And then hopefully we can recreate it so I can enjoy it. That's how we roll. All right, I'm here with Carl. Carl, you're going to tell me, what is the deal with uh, sausage? Okay, it's a sweet Italian sausage. Uh, the recipe for kudigi varies from, from family to family. Okay. It's like a, a homemade Italian sausage. It would uh, be more on a sweet side, uh, although you can make it as spicy as you'd like. Um, this particular recipe comes from a family um, that originated in Calabria, Italy. That's where a lot of our ancestors in, in this particular area came from. That's basically it. It can be made with, uh, this is made with pork, but you make it with uh, uh, venison or any other meat as well. So. Okay, excellent. We're going to give it a try. Thanks so much. Right, Appreciate thank it. You. I got it. We're ready to taste it. Let's go have a try. I want to make this sandwich back at the rig on our own bread. So what this is, is it's got some grilled onions on it, mozzarella cheese, and then that kudigi sausage, which is that sweet Italian sausage. So I'm going to go in and give this a try. Okay, so this is the important part of the process. When Rich is eating something that I can't eat, he conveys to me the flavors that he encounters so I can kind of mentally put together mm -hmm. what I think it's going to taste like and then we can go back and make this. Okay, so tell me first, what's your first impression? Um, my first impression is it's sweet Italian sausage. Um, it, it tastes like a standard sweet Italian sausage. So this has mozzarella cheese and I believe a little bit of grilled onions on it. Um, I've noticed in restaurants around town that recipes for the sandwiches vary from place to place. Some of them have um, pizza sauce on them, which makes it more of like a pizza sandwich. This one fortunately does not, um, but I would like to see more grilled peppers and onions on here. And I've seen one restaurant in town that does a mozzarella um, grilled pepper and onion and mustard. And I would say that sounds pretty intriguing to me. So basically um, we can we can make it however we want. So the the Italian yeah. sausage. Now you've made sausage. What, you're pretty familiar with what you put mm -hmm. in your Italian sausage. Are you tasting anything different? You taste the red wine vinegar? Fennels that have some fennel in there? Yep, it's got some fennel in there. Um, it's a very salty sausage. I don't, because the recipe varies so much, I don't know if maybe they just use a little more salt than other people. I would tone down the salt and I would probably add, that's either red wine vinegar in there or red wine, um, which I've seen some recipes say have red wine. So uh, overall tasty sandwich. Um, I, I think we can make it better. Now that's not our goal necessarily is to make things better. Yeah, our goal is to make things I can eat. Our goal is to make things that Victoria can eat. And I think I, I think if this was made better, I think you would enjoy it. it it's, it's a tasty sandwich. Well, we got to put it on our bun next to cheese and put lots of more grilled peppers and onions because there won't be cheese for mine. Right. So and I'm the, excited I think the mustard that. would lend itself better than the tomato sauce. I'd like to try it both ways. We'll have to do it both ways. Yeah. Okay, well, this was fun and cool, and I'm glad you got to experience the sausage. All right, back from the Italian Fest in Ishpeming, Michigan. Thanks so much to the crew there, which gave us the inside scoop on the Kudigi sandwich. And as promised, we're here to make it ourselves and see if we can make it one gluten-free, but two, just a little bit more delicious than the one we had there. Um, the, the one that we had was, we thought it tasted good. The sausage was great. You can definitely taste some red wine in that sausage. You can taste some nutmeg, some cinnamon, things like that. So it's a very unique sausage blend for sure. But we're going to kind of up our sandwich a little bit. Now there's really in restaurants around Marquette, there's really two ways that the Kudigi sandwich is made. Kind of pizza style with mushrooms, onions, peppers, and a tomato sauce and mozzarella cheese. But one of the restaurants we saw had it the way we're going to try and make it for you today. That's peppers, onions, and a delicious mustard sauce. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I've got my Blackstone heating up. We always want to work with a hot grill, a clean hot grill we always want to start with. And if you need information on cleaning and taking care of your Blackstone, you can always go to the Blackstone YouTube page. They will set you up with how to clean and maintain your Blackstone for optimal performance. So besides always wanting to work with a hot grill, you always want to work with an oiled cooktop as well. So I'm going to get some sunflower oil over the top of this. Take our spatula and just spread it around evenly all over our cooktop. 
and you can see we're just starting to smoke and that tells you that our cooktop is hot and ready to go. So first thing I want to do is put my peppers and onions on the grill and you can hear that sizzle. We've got a hot grill. We'll put a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of oil right on top of those vegetables. Take our tongs and just mix the seasoning together. And these are cut pretty thin, you can see, so I'm going to spread these out across my grill so they cook relatively quickly. We found an authentic Kudigi sandwich patty, so we don't have to buy the bulk and form it into our own patty. It's already done for us. You can find it in the frozen meat department. It is Mama Russo's brand, and the guys at Italian Fest gave us the word that Mama Russo's was the way to go with the Kudigi patty. So we're gonna go ahead and get this guy right down on our grill. We're gonna press it down to make sure all points of the patty are flat on that grill. And we're just gonna let that cook until the edges start to brown and that'll tell us that it's time to flip. Okay, so while Rich is out cooking the Kudigi sausage and the peppers and onions and toasting the bread, I am in charge of making a mustard sauce. So with many of the sauces that I make, I just kind of throw things in a bowl, mix it together, keep tasting until I get where I want to go. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to do this together. We're going to make this sauce and then I'll have a full recipe for you when I figure out what I actually did. So mustard is going to be a mustard forward sauce. So I'm starting with some yellow mustard. Now we don't need a lot of sauce because um, it's just going on one sandwich. Definitely have to get some stone ground mustard in here. So, oops, that just squirted right out. Okay, thank you. Um, so we've got that in there. And definitely need some mayonnaise. This I think is going to be a mustard aioli with some garlic. So a mustard garlic aioli. So I'm going to start there and I'm going to throw in some Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. For good measure. Okay, so I've got this in here. I'm going to mix it together and give it a taste first off to see where I am flavor-wise. Now, like I said, I want this to be very mustard forward. Okay, let's see where we are. Got a spoon here. That is very mustard forward. Um, I'm all for mustard forward, but it's a little too mustardy for me. I want something that has a good range of flavor and a creaminess to it, so I added a little bit more mayo. Let's try that. I'm going to add a little salt, a little pepper, and I'm going to have one ingredient I'm going to add, but I want to see where I am here first. Okay, that's a lot smoother. So that. The reason I put more mayonnaise in it is that mustard head was very bitey and I didn't like that. Okay, you can see our peppers and onions are starting to brown. So I'm gonna take my tongs and just go ahead and give these guys a little mix so we can get even color on all sides. And don't be afraid of caramelization because that's flavor. And again, after we mix them up, we're gonna wanna spread them out on our cooktop. Utilize that whole cooktop to cook those. Our kudigi patty, you can see, is just starting to brown around the edges. I'm going to leave that for a few more minutes, and then we'll flip that. All right, our vegetables are done. I'm going to go ahead and push these guys off to the side. So they'll stay warm and continue to cook there just a little bit. Now I'm going to take my freshly made gluten-free baguette that we make here in our RV. I'll put the recipe down in the description below and you'll find a link to the video on how to make these right up here over my shoulder. And I've got a little bit of garlic butter. We're just gonna hit both sides. Pretty generous amount. And put that right on the center of the flat top. And our kudigi patty. Color's starting to come around the corner so I'm gonna say this guy's ready to flip and Oh yeah, look at that, guys. We're going to give it a little press just to make sure that entire sausage patty is in contact with that grill. 
Now you can use mozzarella cheese to make this sandwich, but what you, we're using is a sliced goat cheese that we get from Trader Joe's and it has all the flavor of mozzarella, but since Victoria can't do cow cheese, but she can do some sheep cheese, we're gonna go ahead and get this on here. So I'm gonna do that right there and maybe another half right there just to cover that whole patty. And we're gonna let this cook just a little bit and let that cheese melt and our bread toast. Okay, let's have a look at our baguette. Oh yeah, look at that. That is exactly what we're looking for. Now I'm gonna lay this on its backside here, just so it warms up a little bit on the other side and kind of make sure that we heat this all the way through. And I'm gonna, you can see our cheese is starting to melt. Let's take a look at our patty. Now oh, it's got a nice caramelization on the back of it. So I'm gonna call this good. I'm gonna call us all done. Let's get everything together and go inside. Victoria's got an awesome mustard sauce that we're gonna put on this. All right, I've got the sandwich. Do you have the mustard sauce? I am almost done. You can stay here and watch me finish look and at, get all excited. Oh that. my God, that looks amazing. <laughs> So I want to add one more ingredient. This is an Italian dish, so garlic is called for, I would say. So we're going to get some garlic in here. I'm using my most favorite garlic press, which I will have a link to down below. Okay, let's mix that up. Oh, I can already smell the mustard flavor mm, in there. Yes. Yeah. And remember, when you're making a sauce like this for a sandwich, you want really, really strong flavors because you've got all these other ingredients on the sandwich. You want mm -hmm. no timid sauce for this sandwich, for sure. So This even, is not, there's nothing timid about this sandwich, no, by the way. <laughs> no, not at all. And even though I thought that the mustard was a little too sharp, um, I still want a strong mustard flavor. Can I get oh. a taste of that? I'm just going to use my Okay, finger. that's good. That's good. I think... I think we are good to go. Let's, um, let oh, me get... I don't think you need to add anything to that. Okay, let me clear the deck and we're going to eat. All right. All right, everything's gone. <laughs> I know, see, isn't that ama amazing magic there? The power of yeah. editing. Okay, you can yeah. see that toasty bun that we got on there. Wow. And that's got that garlic butter on it, which is going to play really, really yes. nice with the garlic you just put in that sauce. Okay, do you want more than that? That's, that looks pretty good. That's, that's pretty a, saucy. That's a good, healthy amount. Okay, which way did you have it? This way? Yep. Thanks. Okay. Now, since you were able Ooh. to eat the original sandwich, I want you to take the first bite okay. and give me what you think, how it, how it measures up. Well, I can already tell it's juicier oh, yeah, than the one at, at the Italian Fest, but all right, we're going in. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. The, the Mama Russo sausage thumbs up. It tastes like the sausage that we had at the Italian Fest. You can taste the red wine, and I think it's what makes Kudigi sausage unique is the spice blend that they have in there. Again, I'm tasting some nutmeg. I'm tasting, it's, it's kind of Thanksgiving spices, I guess is the, oh, best, interesting. the best way to describe it. The sandwich we had at Italian Fest just had cheese on it. It didn't have any sauce on it, and they had some condiments available there at the stand, but I didn't want to put anything on it. But the thing it was lacking at the Italian Fest was the peppers and onions. Well, so basically we had sausage with cheese on it and it was good. The, uh, the goat cheese compared sliced goat cheese compared to sliced mozzarella. I don't think there really is a comparison. It's, it's, a little bitier, it's delicious, but, yeah. but the mustard sauce takes this over the top. It plays so nicely with the sandwich. I think, I think you need to go in and. Okay. And, well, I've heard so much. It's my, my here, turn I'll get now. you a napkin. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to go on the other end here. This is a big piece of sausage. That's. That is not a lightweight sandwich right there. Oh. And here's a napkin for you. Thank you. And then while you're, I'm, I'm actually going in for a second bite. That is absolutely phenomenal. Mm. I have never tasted a sausage like that before. Mm -hmm. Now I know why it's so unique. And I can taste all the things you taste. You know what it reminds me of? A little bit of your Italian sausage, your homemade Italian sausage, because you put red wine vinegar in it, and I can I can taste. So I guess flavors. you can almost say there's a, a hint of sweetness. Maybe isn't the right word, but I taste fennel. I feel feel like I taste fennel, and a little the nutmeg that you said, and the red wine vinegar. Mm -hmm. Um, it's got an acidity to it, which you don't usually get. Yeah, in and I don't think it's yet. red wine vinegar. I think I think one of the hallmarks of Kudigi is actually red wine. Oh, well, that's even I, better. Which is what, what the guy at the festival told us. Okay, that. so it has red wine. And then the other thing they told us at the festival is every family's Kudigi recipe is it's unique different. to them. We tried to get him to tell us his recipe. No, he wasn't. No, Absolute, no way. Absolutely not. No. <laughs> Recipes are not shared. 
But again, he did recommend the Mama Russo sausage, which is available at all the grocery stores up in the Marquette area and most of the stores up in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. But wow, I think we we did it. I think we accomplished it. Number one, we made it gluten free. I'm not going to call it. Yeah. I'm not going to call it dairy free because it's got the sliced goat cheese. But on it would it. be utterly amazing if you With, you don't need the cheese. Yeah, you if really you, don't. If you left the cheese out, I think maybe you, put a little bit extra sauce on yeah, there. Yeah, you've got um, all yeah. the flavors there, and I. We made the classic Upper Peninsula cootie sandwich. We did. Woohoo! We did it. That is really delicious. And I'm just happy I get to finally take a bite of it. Mm -hmm. um, I won't say it's difficult to watch him eat food because I know down the road we're going to remake it and I get to eat it. But yeah. it is it is challenging because it usually smells so good and he looks like he's having such a good time eating it. And mm -hmm. But I just have to be patient and wait. And I'm glad I did. This is really amazing. Yeah, it's delicious. So Italian Fest, if you're watching, you need a gluten-free baguette so everybody can enjoy this amazing sandwich. Or a gluten-free something. It could be a bun. That'd be good too. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm. um, we will put the recipe for the sauce in the comments below since it's so it's because it's pretty easy. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're ever in the, the UP of Michigan, get yourself a Kudigi sandwich. Um, I don't believe you can get it anywhere outside. Can you get it in downstate in uh, the Lower Peninsula? I, so I grew up in Michigan. Lower in the I was a troll, I guess you would call me, because I, <laughs> I was in the lower part. Um, I had never in my life heard of Kudigi until we saw it in the restaurants up in the Marquette area. So I, okay. I, I, didn't, so even, I didn't even know this existed. You've got to... You've got to go to the UP to get this. So the UP is so popular. Um, so many people go. I'm sure you'll find yourself there at some point. And when you do, get this sandwich. And if you're gluten-free, get the sausage and make the sandwich yourself. Yeah, absolutely. And if you find yourself in the Upper Peninsula in the Marquette area in July, go to the Italian Fest and get your own Kudigi sandwiches. Ishpeming is about 20 minutes west of Marquette on the main drive right there. It's worth the drive. Definitely. So thanks again for watching, and uh, we hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. You can find the recipe, like I said, in the details below and at gfexplorers.com with all of our other recipes. And be sure and hit that notification bell so you're alerted every time we do a recipe just like this. And until next time, happy, happy eating. eating.